So you were in there taking a shit while they were moving the porta potty around. <laughs> Seen everything now. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I am the Bearded OG. This is Smiles. And our main goal for this episode is to find a small engine. All right. So if you have not been watching my Purge playthrough, so I've already brought this up a few times on that, I'm going to bring it up here. Um, There are small motors and there are small engines, and they are not the same thing. Okay. So I've had numerous comments saying, oh, you can easily get small mo uh, small engines by wrenching washers and dryers and stuff like that. No, those are small motors. Those are not small engines. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're clear, right? So we're clear. Um, what I need is a small engine. And I have been told in the comments that um, we can find those. We have a good chance of finding those in Mopower. Um, you know, trucks and crates. And I in, indeed did find one uh, in the purge on in a Mopower crate. So that's our main goal today because I want concrete before the next horde night. That is the plan. Okay. Um, I also have been playing the purge for the last few days and now I'm back into normal rebirth. And my plan moving forward is to jump back and forth between both the series. So I'll do a few episodes in the purge, do a few episodes in normal rebirth, and then go back to the purge and you know, uh, ju just jump back and forth like that. Okay, so I got to, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to get my head back in the game for what we're doing here. I know that we've got to, uh, we have to find that small engine. That's like our, probably our number one priority. Let's take a look at where we are in terms of our progress. So we are um, <clears throat> very close to strength level two. We're very close to dexterity level five. We just passed level three on constitution and we're uh, two levels into intelligence and we are, um, this is the next highest priority after we get concrete and, you know, get our horde night or our herd base going is getting this up so that we can uh, do a charismatic nature and get ourselves another follower. Uh, okay. Yeah. So now the other thing I'm going to start doing and we, how much money do I have? Yeah. We're going to start doing that today is um, as I level, I'm going to buy the books and we're going to start leveling these as we go rather than, you know, getting all the way to level four and not putting any points at all in the cardio and parkour. We need to be doing that. And I started doing that on the purge and I will also do the same thing here. Uh, okay. So as far as our witch doctor stuff goes, we are at level three. We want to get to level four so we can have our skeleton zombie. Um, craft tier two skeleton warrior potions. Oh, nice. Okay. So then we can have stronger skeleton warriors. Um, these guys uh, also when we hit level four black magic. So that that's also a very high priority for us. And um, what's I going to look at something else there? Right. So we're just about to hundred percent on sides. As soon as we do that, then we'll roll back over and, and start working on witch doctor. And then it uh, looks like we're about Oh, a little over 33% of the way into tacticals. Very good. Okay, I think we're doing all right. How, how about food and water? We've got a, a Purina's tamale hash here, and we're, we're good on food. Not bad on water, plus we have a couple of these. I'm not quite as far along in this playthrough as I am on the purge. Uh, I finally found a second tabletop stove on the purge and have this. In fact, I think I have all the workstations on the purge now, I think, or at least, you know, most of them. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're a little further ahead on that, and uh, we will also get caught up on this one. All right, so let's see. It is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the trader, and we're going to buy a perk book or two. Let's sell this stuff to Briston. Um, that we're not selling to Briston. That we're, uh, that's right, I'm still using the... Forge and all that over here. Um, let's make some bullet casings with that. So we'll eventually come across those things. Uh, another thing high up on the priority list of... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That opening door closed thing. 
Ramsey said he's going to fix this in the next release. So, yeah. Uh, is is moving. Uh, we're going to move into that kind of mansion place uh, a couple blocks down the road. So, yeah, lots to do, man. Lots to do. All right. Let's go ahead and look at your inventory. So, actually, no. Before we do that, let's look at our attributes. So, uh, if we go to here. So, we... The question here is what makes the most sense right now. We have enough money to buy one of the more expensive books, which would be a healing factor or an iron gut. Um, deep cuts, swords, machetes, bladed batons, and knives. So I have the same question here that I asked in my last purge video, because I'm using an ax. I'm the, I'm the soldier. Um, my scythe obviously causes bleed damage, but it's not explicitly listed here. Does deep cuts also apply to the scythe and the axe. Once I figure that out, then that'll determine whether or not it's worth it for us to put points into deep cuts. For now, um, cardio is going to help us move a, a little bit faster and better stamina regen. And how much is that book? It's 2,700. Yeah, so we could buy two of those. What's our dexterity at? Level four. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that first because I did that in the purge and it made a huge difference just right off the bat. We will get the other ones too, but I think we're going to start off with two cardio books. All right, so let's do that and that. And then if we take a look now, we can, uh, we regen stamina by 10% when sprinting and can walk 5% faster. Okay, cool. So as we raise money, we will com come back to Bristol and continue buying those books until we're all caught up to our current levels. And then each time we get a new level, we'll buy more books and keep, you know, improving our character as the game becomes more difficult. All right. Do I have any jobs from wrecked? Looks like I do. Um, we're not going to, we might, yeah, I got three. Okay. We might do those today if we get time, but the first thing we got to do is find a small engine. So that means we want to look for mo power. We want to look for mini bikes. We want to look for go karts. Um, do I have a wrench on me? I do. Okay. Um, that wrench. I think that just gets repaired by duct tape, right? Yeah. Uh, do I have duct tape on me? I don't. Okay. Let's go make a duct tape so we have something to repair this wrench. And then we're gonna go searching for a small engine, man. What? Bouncing all off the walls here. Didn't take my riddle in this morning. Um. Okay, duct tape. We make that in here. And we're probably missing glue. Okay. Um. Glue we can make in here. How much can we make? One. That's just because I only have one murky water. Okay. I've got an extra firearm repair kit because this is getting down, but we'll see if we can stretch this out just a little bit longer. We've got six skeleton warrior potions. We have 12 mind control potions, so we're in pretty good shape on our voodoo witchcraft stuff there. We'll craft this. Let's also put this down here. And now we're good to go. How much ammo do I have? 473. Oh, that's another thing. Um... <clears throat> I started using HP ammo, well, actually a combination of HP and AP ammo in the purge, because the HP ammo takes an extra lead bullet to make, but it does a lot more damage, and it has a higher chance of dismemberment, too. Um, so let's go back to the trader for a second, specifically to the workbench. And see if I have bullets that I can use to convert these to HPs. If I don't, I don't think we're going to mess with that today. That's going to be an off-camera project for me. No point in even closing that because he's just going to open and close it again. Uh, I don't have any bullets in there. Oh, we only have six bullets in here. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, then we're just going to run with normals today, but... One of my to-do list items will be to um, convert those. 
and then just start making the HP. And we should have, you know, a, a little bit of AP ammo for bosses too. Uh, okay, I don't remember off the top of my head if there's going to be like a mini bike down this road. I don't think there is because I've been down it a few times now. Um, and I'm, I don't think there's a whole lot down that way either. I don't remember what's up this road. Let's go up this road really quick first. And we're looking for a mini bike. Or we're looking for a, a go-kart. And there's also like this scooter thingy. Any of those would do the trick. We don't get small engines off of motorcycles. We get motorcycle engines. So there's no point in wrenching that for that reason. This road goes all the way up into the burned biome, which we want to stay away from for now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Did we check this? Uh, did we check this um, vehicle here, a warthog, to see if it was repairable? It's not. That's a bummer. It'd be kind of fun to get one of these. Oh, look at that. 14 bullet tips. Nice. Okay, let's go back into the city then and start looking for mo powers, and then, you know, maybe we'll come across... Uh, oh, you know what? I think that original mini bike that I was going to fix up, I, I can't remember if I took that apart or not. I know exactly where it is, if it's still there, so maybe we should head straight there first. Hey, look at that, honey. Another thing you guys told me in the comments was that I have a chance of getting a small engine from a forklift. And there was a, I believe there was a forklift at that construction site where we were trying to get to the chest and the floor collapsed. Hey, you motherfucker. You're lucky I don't have time for you today, man, or I'd come back and kick your ass all over the road. I'll let you live today, but only today. I'm coming for you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's go back through the city to the other end of town. But we're going to stop off at where that forklift was and wrench that and see if that works for us. And if I didn't already say this, and if you don't already know this, the reason we're looking for a small engine is because of... There's more power right there. Uh, because we need it for the cement mixer. poke our head in here. All right. Um, are you ready to go? Okay. Smiles is at full health. I want to kind of be somewhat conservative with my potions. We'll use our black magic arrows for turning because they're way cheaper. All right, yeah, kill that guy down there. I need to try and get as many scythe kills as I can. So we can get uh, to the next level of Voodoo Witchcraft. I don't know if we would find small motors in this stuff. We might, but it's it's more the um the, the actual you know storage crates that we're supposed to be able to find them in. Well, that we can find them in because I have you know. Okay, let's pick up these registers for selling. Mechanical parts. Give me something good to drink. That's not precisely what I had in mind. Grab this. All of these will pick up and sell. It's got a, kind of like a mini um, Best Buy.
There we go. We got it. Hell yeah. All right. Nice. Since we're here, we might as well finish the place out. And then we're going to go get ourselves a cement mixer set up and get going on some cement. <clears throat> All right. That was awesome. So, yeah, Mo Power is the place to go for small engines, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you to the person who originally gave me that comment. I don't remember who it was, but I do appreciate it. Appreciate it? Appreciate it. Uh, okay. I think this, what's this going to give us? Plastic, maybe? Paper and plastic. Okay. Here's a saw in there. Did you see Smiles just open the door by himself? <laughs> and close it, and open it, and close it. That guy, man. He's nothing if not consistent. Okay. Jiggling. Come to the door, Jiggly. Wouldn't mind finding another small engine, or three, uh, because we also need them for generators. Um, somebody commented recently that if you pick those up and scrap them, you get more leather than if you wrench them. But my response to them was, if you wrench them, you get mechanical parts. And mechanical parts are quite a bit more valuable than leather. Like seven times more valuable. Plus you get all that other shit too that we just got. So you have to kind of look at it from all angles. For stuff like that. Alright, let's break this. Acid. We need lots of acid for making hydrochloric acid, which is one of the ingredients for making activated charcoal, which we need for um, distilled water. Okay, that's a stamina thingy for the drone. Do I have a drone in this playthrough? <laughs> I, I thought I had littered a drone at one point. And I thought it was in the purge, but I couldn't find it in my stuff. So I think I may have accidentally, you know, uh, dropped it or something. I don't know. But then I got to thinking, hmm, I wonder if it was this playthrough that I found the drone in. So we'll go back and look in our stuff. Uh, there's a speaker. Good for alarms. And I think that's all I want to pick up in here. All right, let's go upstairs here. Come here, asshole. Oh, shit. Bad timing. Oh. You're a, a buffer. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> okay, I want to get the kill. Just need a little bit of stamina here. Excellent. Okay, we've got to be getting close. Yeah, 96.3. A few more kills and we're there. Let's try and get that done today, too, so we can get started with the next level of Witch Doctor. All right, that's all good stuff. Um, i to get used to this toolbar again. I've been purging <clears throat> on the purge so much that I'm used to all of that. Here's the fat loot. Another helmet light and some... 762. How about a second small engine game? Nope. Okay. Um, up oh, there. Is that anything? It probably is. Alrighty then. 
Will this give me air, uh, brass? I don't think it will, but let's check it. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Uh, smiles. Let's, uh... Yeah, he's got so much inventory space. It's awesome. Uh, in fact, let's just do this. <laughs> Take it all, man. Take it all. Okay. Whoop. There's a couple things down there we can also get. Resume. Military wheel. That's pretty rare. Definitely want to hang on to that. Oh, look at the cement in here. This is wonderful. Is there a bad bed back here? Uh, I can't tell from here. Okay, let's... Uh, where's my shovel? S7. Shift 7. Whoops. Grab all of that. We'll grab this too. There's a mo power crate. But I don't... I'm not seeing us on, but there still could be one back there, so let's be careful. Nope. No zombadoos. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. And another sludge turret as well. Okay, so that means... Uh, what the hell? Uh, he was just, <laughs> he was just sitting on the gas barrel. It's like, okay, I'll go grab him. Uh, we'll eventually set up a chicken coop. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, that means we can now use a generator. Um, two, you know, with that engine. And I think it gives us like 66 watts of power, which is a decent amount of power for a single small engine. Or, you know, we could get two, um, cement mixers going at the same time. Two, just to speed things up, and then I could switch one out later. And well, actually, I don't know. Do I have two cement mixers? Don't know if we do or not. This motorcycle seems to be a little more, uh, have a little less traction in uh, Rebirth than it does in Vanilla. That could completely be my imagination, but it kind of seems that way. All right, give me your stuff. And let's do this. And then all of these appliances, of course, we'll run over and sell. Uh, do I already have a stove? Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll just sell that. There's no point in having two of those. Unless we wanted to have, like, a separate outfit that we switched out. I don't know how much we would do that in Rebirth. We would do something like that in Vanilla. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Okay, anyway, let's... Yeah, okay, we have a generator. Good. So that means we can use that other small engine. But where is my cement mixer? Pretty sure we looted one a little while ago. I just don't remember what I did with it. There it is. Um, This trader is protected, right? Yeah, okay. I was going to say I'd, I'd rather kind of go set it down by the forge, but we can't. So we're going to have to just haul stuff back and forth for now. This is, again, you know, very temporary place that we have here. Oh, we have to repair this first. Um, bup, 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 bup. What do we need to repair it? Oh, we need the small engine to repair it. Okay, right, because I think we have to put a battery in it to operate it. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, it's six one half does the other as long as we get it done. That's the main thing. All right, I'm going to um, put a couple things away, run over the trader, sell all of this stuff, and then we'll come back and get some concrete going. And then after that, uh, we'll figure something out. We got a bunch of things to do. I'm just trying to decide which, what's the most, you know, next most important thing. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. Um, I can make an electric fence post. 
I have a small engine and I have a generator. It's a repairable generator. We have what we need to repair it. Yes, we do. So. That makes me think we should incorporate electrical fences into our Horde Knight solution. Um... So I'm going to have to give that some thought. And uh, do that. Because that'll give us a lot more crowd control. And give me an opportunity to try and get some kills in. You know, to get some XP. But I have to, I have to think about exactly how that's going to happen. Hey, look at that. We just hit dexterity level 5. Nice. And so I think for what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we're going to go do a, a job or two for wrecked. We're going to get this to hundred percent so we can start leveling witch doctor four. And then after the episode, I'm going to give some thoughts to how, how we're going to handle the horde. We've got, um, you know, we'll have two more full days to get that done. So I got the concrete going. Uh, the other thing is I can only make uh, a little over four, 400 concrete. I do have more cement, but I need uh, I need sand. So I might take a trip out to the desert and just go dig up a bunch of sand and maybe try and get some oil shale too whilst we're at it. But again, that's going to be an off-camera thing if I do that too. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend the rest of this episode doing some jobs. So if we take a look, yeah, this is the closest one. It's a fetch. The Quonset Warehouses. Okay. Halt. Resume. Oh, God, there's a boss there. Um. All right. Let's let the bear and the boss duke it out. And then whoever's left will go in and... I'm guessing the boss will probably win. I hope he does, because we don't actually want the bear to kill him all the way, or we won't get the loot. Um, I'm going to probably throw down um, a, an extra helper for this, too. Is he by himself? Yeah, you know what? I think the last time we encountered this guy, he was all by himself. I mean, there were some other zombs around, but they weren't, like, in his party. I wish we could see health bars, you know? I think I have, like, level one of health detection. Okay, that's just a knockdown. That's not a death. All right, I guess we're in it. So let's get the bear kilt first. Yeah, you come over here and help us out. Oh, shit. I heard another, hear another zone. Oh, we have a horde coming in, or are these just normal Zeeks? Hey. Stop eating my bear, goddammit. There's the boss's drop right there. Okay. Got a little radiation poisoning there. Come on, stamina. All right. Did we get uh, 99.2? <laughs> All right. Seriously? 
Come on, man. All right, we'll, we're going to get that as soon as we go into here. Okay, I've never been in this POI, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect. It's a little, a little laggy. Is that? Do we got a horde? Did that get us there? I thought I heard a little th -th -th thingy. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> now we're 9.91. What was the little th -th 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 thing? Uh, I don't know. Let's find one more Zeke. Hey, there's a new cassette. Which, oh yeah, I was going to check that. Let's see where we're at with these. Uh, wasted keybinds. There we go. Now we are going to start working on Witch Doctor 4. That's a beautiful thing. Wasted keybinds. Nice. Turn that down a little bit. Um, if we look at the global. All right. So we need three more in volume one. We need three more in volume two and three more in volume three. All right. We're getting there. Down just a little more. Okay. So this is a retrieve. Let's get it started here. It is, yeah, it's very stuttery right here, but it's probably just the POI. Either that, or either that or there's a big horde coming up on the other side of the building we can't see yet. Let's, uh, oh, shit. Still, lady. Right, we need to get those guys out from behind the wall there. An outside dude. Oh, there's the safe. Nice. We'll search the vehicles. I'm not going to wrench the vehicles. Uh, at least not right now. I might later. There's some food or something up there. Ooh. Food, medical, two medicals, and a small weapons bag. That's a lot of good loot all in a small area. Let's open this. Look at that. Beautiful. Tier 3 expertise book bundle. Machine guns. Oh, man. <laughs> I need that on my other playthrough. And knuckles. All right. Definitely don't want that, and definitely don't want that. So we'll scrap them and use them to turn them into books that we do want. Let's also take a gun safe with us. We'll put that in our new house once we eventually get in there. And use it to store weapons. Huh? Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Actually, you know what? That could also blow these cars up and hurt all of us, so let's not do that. All right, what the hell? Um, am I supposed to do this? No, not that. 
Well, why would I do that at all? Why don't, you just, why don't we just go back? <laughs> why don't we just go around? Unless we can't get back there. Nope. Okay. My looks like my satchel's gonna be in here. Pretty decent loot. Okay. How about if It's not working. Can we do this one? All right. If he's the only one that's going to wake up, we'll kill him. Okay, we got another Zeke coming over here. He did. Can we do this? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get a sneaky sneak off on him. Didn't quite work. Edgar. Making sure this guys aren't going to rebirth. Uh, I guess that's it for the Zeeks. Our satchel is right there. All right, let's quickly loot this place. I'm not going to salvage. I'm just going to loot all the boxes that are have the white printing on them are lootable. And you can get brass, among other things, out of these boxes. Case in point. I think that takes care of all of the white uh, print boxes. Let's see if we had that point in park car, we could get up there a lot easier. All right, let's hit this pass and gas. Bicycle wheel. Blue. We'll take that. Um, okay, I think that's it, right? For looting here? As far as I can tell. Let's go back do the do the turn in. Maybe we were supposed to go in A first and then do B, because B's the one that actually had the reasonably good stuff in it, you know? Doesn't matter. As long as we got the job done, that's all that counts. Are we near our next job location? Yes, we are actually quite a bit. John John's. Let's go do John John's too. It's a porta potty place. Okay. Is this a bandit or a follower? Oh, dude. No. No. That is not allowed. Fucker. All right, I'll get another wooden bow off of him. This guy looks like a survivor. Yeah, that's William. That's William, the survivor. Let's we'll help him out. Don't rebirth. Okay. Jo oh, I get it. John John's. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the John, get it? John John's? <sighs> Kill me. Okay. Um, let's do that. And I'm going to also put a, a few things into here. Very good. Uh, we are a little thirsty. Let's take one of these. 
They are also a little bit damaged, so let's take one of these. And let's also, well, we gotta wait for that to wear off. All right, we're just gonna go. I've never been in this POI, so I wouldn't know where to prelude anything anyways. Um, I can't, can you imagine how long it would take to open all of these up? I don't think we'll be doing that. So you were in there taking a shit while they were moving the porta potty around. <laughs> I've seen everything now. Oh my god, that's funny. <coughs> Bicycle part. Okay, let's wrench this just because I want to see if we get a small engine. We've unlocked salvage tools, wrench quality five. Nice. All right, no small engine. We'll keep trying. This is just a clear, right? Yeah, okay. All right, I see a bunch of reds. Uh. Those are all corpses. Okay. Downtown beatdown. Man, this would be the place to come for plastic, wouldn't it? Oh my god. And even paper, too. Look at all those cardboard thingamadoodles. Can we not turn burners? Oh God. Oh, he's feral. Shit. We can't turn ferals. Not yet. We will, we will be able to. We just can't right at the moment. Okay. Be our friend, Jiggly. Oh shit. Jiggly's also feral. What the fuck, man? Don't rebirth. This is only a tier one. Why are we getting ferals in tier one? What the hell? I want my money back. Okay, he's up. Is he feral too? No, they're both normals. Alright, let's enlist your help. Or I should say conscript. Oh, whoops, sorry. Yes, I know. If I drink a potion. Oh, you rebirth as a feral, you motherfucker. But if I drink a potion, then I can primary attack and get double damage and not turn them back. But uh, potions... Oh, actually, no, these don't... Yeah, they do make me thirsty, just not as bad as the bruise. But I kind of want to save these for more dire situations. So I'm still being a bit conservative with those for the moment. Will not always be that way. It just doesn't make a lot of sense for me to consume a potion, make myself thirsty, when I can use a much cheaper black magic arrow to pretty much accomplish the same thing. Um, <laughs> I am not opening up all these doors. Hell no. That ain't happening. Um, I would, uh, well, you know what? I, I'll come back for that. I would like to get all that, um, cloth. There we go. Herbal antibiotic. We'll take that. That's most welcome. We are level 19. Okay, we got friends.
Okay, I got a red dot that way. And kind of felt like we made it might have had a little bit of a stutter too. Barrel. Don't rebirth. Okay. And we have another, um, sounds like, oh shit. Sounds like there might be a bandit out there. And we have a piggly wiggly as well. You know what would be really useful in this POI is parkour. Uh, what's going on out here? I, those are just wandering Zeeks. They're not, it's not a horde. We got to really always watch that stuff. Is that building there part of John John's? No, I would say probably not. Anyway, what I was going to do is this. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. Okay. Pick that up. This is a little bit safer position up here. Okay, let's go this way. Look at all those zombies over there, man. Are you the are you a bandit? No, that's that's William. William's a nice guy. He's not gonna mess with us. He and I have an understanding. I'll help him, he helps me. It's William and I, and Smiles, against the world. Uh, okay, we got a, a wheel down there. I'm just looking for zombs we can turn. You know, get a preemptive. But the ones over there are, are a little too far away. I'll worry about... Uh, wrenching that... There we go. Worry about wrenching the forklift later. Dude, attack the soldier, please. That's your job. All right. I have to do everything. Smiles, get your ass over here. Dude, you're fired. And you did. Fired and dead. Let's grab this car wheel. Hey, vitamins. Another cassette tape. Cloak and dagger. Oh no, I crashed. Oh shit. <laughs> it crashed as soon as I hit cloak and dagger. Hmm. Is that just a coinkadink? I don't know. Let's log back in and try cloak and dagger again and see if it crashes me again. Weird. All right, I'll be right back. Why is it not showing up? Okay, hold on a sec. Um, whoops. Did it? What the fuck, man? I lost it. It, it doesn't, it's not, oh, wait. It's nighttime. Shit. <laughs> I'm like. Okay, well, let's go up here and then up here. Oh. 
They could probably get up to us from those propane tanks, huh? Can we... Let's do this. Whoa. Okay, can you guys get up here? I hope those propane tapes won't blow up. Let's get a little extra help here. Okay. Um, I want to say that that cloak and dagger had something to do with the crash because you guys saw on video, and when I edit this, I'll I'll show it again. That I got the cloak and dagger cassette tape, and I read it. Cloak and Dagger, but it does not show up in my my list as having read it. See? So something weird's going on with that. What I might do is just spawn it in from the creative menu since I did legitim legitimately get it, you know? Um... In fact, why don't we do that and test it and see if it causes another crash? Because Ramsey's going to want to know about this if it does. Um, so let's go to CM. Cloak. Oops. How about if we spell it correctly? Okay, cloak and dagger. Okay, we read it. Now let's switch to it. Is that William over there? Yeah, I think uh, I think so. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, there. Okay, that crash must have been caused by something else, some other random weird issue. So I, th I think we're good now. Okay, we'll turn that back off. Okay, let's get back to business here. Um, so what are we doing? We're supposed to be clear in this place. Grab this weapons bag. The decent stuff. We were coming along through here. Um, are those actual land mines? I'm gonna assume that they are. But before we test that theory, I wanna grab these medical supplies. And that's some good stuff. Hmm, I don't know, man. Let's... Let's just not step on it. <laughs> okay, it wants us to go that way. Look at that. Nice. Tier 3 expertise book fragments. Melee and ranged. All right. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, what are we doing? Tacticals. Yeah. Let's 
do those right now because we might as well. And we're currently at 36. Can those little fuckers get up here? I don't think they can. Let's read this. Forty six. Beautiful. Okay. Then everything that was in here looks like it. Yeah, you, okay, those landmines have the red LED on them. And there's the loot over there, too. I don't, I'm not sure if that's a landmine. Zombie dog. Okay, let's repair this. Thank goodness that guy can't get up here. Fuck you very much. You're dead, right? Okay. Hey, we <laughs> gotta be really careful in here. Oh my god. Uh... going on over here oh shit we got a horde all right um that's a bit of a problem because oh did it reset the job all right well that actually kind of works in our favor because now we can gtfo <laughs> Looks like it reset the job. Or did I forget to do the start the job? No, I distinctly remember saying, you know what, let's just do this because I've never done this before. And I wouldn't know what to double loot. So that crash like reset the entire job. But here again, under the circumstances, I think we're gonna run away like a chicken with her head cut off because there's a big horde there now. With buffers. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Sometimes uh, bad things turn out for good, right? Um, all right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here then. Uh, well, no, actually, let's go do our, our turn. -in. What the fuck? Let's go do our turn. It looks like something exploded there um, before I let you go. And then I'm going to be spending some time between now and Horde Night coming up with a new horde based solution um depending upon how long it takes me to do that we may have another episode before horde night or we might start the horde night in the next episode we'll just have to play that one by ear um because i have to you know i, I don't want to use what we used last time because i i have no i get no xp oh shit that's a bandit motherfucker uh, i get no xp from that right it, it i can survive but I can't get any XP, so now that we have access to electric fences and concrete, I want to, you know, take a more active role in killing these the horde and getting some XP. And I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. I have a couple ideas, but I just haven't made a decision as to which, which of those will do, right? So that is the plan. And we'll go back and do John John's again at another point in time. Um, just, I guess, wasn't in the cards for tonight. No point in closing that door because dude's just going to open it back up again. 
Um, I do want to look at What's one thing. Problem? If we go to here. Okay, right now we have 89 charisma. Well, I guess I'm going to have to pay you now that you did it. Uh, I think hmm, this is kind of a tough one. I think I want the weapons parts bundle so, you know, that we can upgrade to a nicer tactical when the time comes. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so let's take that. <clears throat> And if we look at this now, oh, okay. So the turn in doesn't give you the points, but I think, I think that may have gone up when we were doing the job. I don't know. I'll have to pay attention to see how that actually works. I assumed that it was the turn in that would give us the points, but maybe not. Um, okay. You gonna buy some food or just stand there like a goddamn idiot? I'm gonna stand here like a goddamn idiot. Cause it bugs you. All right, let's sell that and not really anything else. Son, son of a bitch. bitch. That's all you're going to buy. That's all I'm going to buy. Um, let's do a quick ammo change, but I know I got stuff on the bike and stuff on smiles too. So I'll do get that all sorted off camera. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, show oh, shit video and um, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Let's get ourselves some meat here. Oh, I can't set that down here. I think we're just going to range him because I don't want to get hit. Let's get him butchered quick before the zombies eat him. Alright. Bye.